not the coolest. <laughs> not the coolest. It's always funny. Blessed. Where in the world is my good for nothing son? Last night I asked him to analyze the effects of my latest invention, the BED, and I'm longing to hear the results. I hope he's not doing what I think he's doing. Oh, hello. Welcome to the stream. Hello, hello. Okay, now we gotta find his son. I'm sure he's sleeping. In the BED. <laughs> uh, probably nothing down here, because we already beat that. If I had to guess. <gasps> oh. <gasps> All this training's made me so hungry. I really wish I had some tofu right now. Yes. Oh, I'm gonna sneeze. <laughs> Sorry? Let's think. Wow, thank you for the tofu. I really needed that. <laughs> thank you. In return, here's my most prized possession. Please take good care of it. A big air horn? What does that do? Uh, is that a toy? Because air horn's in here. Is it an equip? Oh no, it's a it's an important one. For waking up a oh wait. Oh. Where where? Yep. Oh. Dead. Yep, he's uh he's <laughs> as I suspected, he's fast asleep. <laughs> <laughs> Slept. But Sprumbles don't oversleep. This BED, it's powerful. Maybe even too powerful. I better tell Dad about this. <gasps> Christmas is still unfortunately ruined. <laughs> oh, we ruined Christmas. I see that you have tossed your favor in the way of fall. You will receive no gifts from me. <laughs> yep, they're all mad. How dare we? Where have you been? I... I'm afraid I have some terrible news. What is it, son? You know you can tell me anything. Last night, while I was testing the BED, I... 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 I overslept. No, it can't be. If what you said is true, then... All my research, this invention, the BED, it's all too powerful. <gasps> You see, my theory was that a BED would help sprout moles gain a good night's rest and thus gain productivity throughout the day, but what good is it if the very same invention causes sprout moles to lose productivity instead? The BED has the potential for greatness, but the current risk is too high. By the gods, what have I done? I cannot unleash this dangerous technology upon the world, lest our humble village might never wake up again. Hey you there, child! Take this BED away from us. We have no need for such power. 
You've got a bed. Now be gone, and speak not of what you saw here today. Oh my god. But I liked the BED. <laughs> Let the sprout moles get a good night's rest. Let them sleep. Do my eyes deceive me? I don't believe it. It's a PET. The real, genuine, bona fide BED. I'm gonna use it right this second. Hey, what are you doing? We helped you, so you should help us. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What's with all the attitude? It may not seem like it, but I'm a mole of my word. Now, you didn't hear this from me, but earlier, I believe I may have seen a sprout mole with a big pink bow digging through poor old Pessy's pockets. Of course it's fucking Rosa. A sprout mole with a big pink bow? That sounds like Rosa. The menace Rosa's at it again. Come on, little buddy. We gotta make her hand over Pessy's thing no matter what. Now, you didn't he Oh, it's the same thing. Uh, well, where is Rosa is the question. Is she in her room now? Conveniently. There she is. Rosa, the jig is up! Why are you here? I'm angry! Go away! Thanks to you, my dear sweetheart ran away with that blasted Captain Space Boy again? Sweetheart was only a few doors away, but now she's flown galaxies away. How will I follow her now? Do I look like I can fly to you? I... I don't know if that really was our fault. Rosa, we know you stole Pessy's thing, now give it back. This again? Why are you always after my sweetheart merchandise? I found it fair and square, so... It's Finder's Keepers! It's not fair and square if you find it in someone's pocket, bitch. Don't worry, guys. Let me handle this. Hey, Rosa? Why don't you and I try to work something out? Ew, no! I don't want to hear it! There is no way I am giving you the most valuable new addition to my collection. Now get out of my house! Wow, Hero got shot down. <laughs> That's a first. Maybe we have to talk to Pessy again. Perhaps. Oh. <laughs> Rosa's being difficult again, huh? Figures. She's always been like that. Here. Take this and show it to her. There's no way that she will refuse you after seeing this. You got... <laughs> wow. We got blackmail. <laughs> now leave me and my new BD alone. Our business is done here. <laughs> oh my god. Contains details of Rosa's dark past. <laughs> what on earth is her dark past? Find out. What are your secrets, Rosa? God, this brought me the washing machine. I know. Back again? <laughs> you amuse me. Such a fruitless effort. <laughs> Step aside, guys. I'll deal with her. Wait, Kill. It's true that Rosa's a real pain, but I have some serious issues with using blackmail as a means to. Hey, Rosa! Check this out! Oh my god, Kill. <laughs> no hesitation. None. Kel pulled out the blackmail. Oh, oh, where did you get that? I've, I've changed my mind. Please, kind sir. I'll give you anything you want. Just politely hand over 
you about blackmail at once. Oh yes, you want Pessy's thing, right? Fine, whatever. Take it, it's yours. Now give me that blackmail. Hurry up and do it! You traded blackmail for Pessy's thing. <laughs> I'm gonna need you to get out of my house now. You already got what you wanted, didn't you? Now scram! Scram, I say! Go away, I'm mad at you! <sighs> I want to know its secrets. Yeah. What kind of dastardly things did she cause in the past? I mean, clearly she's got a theft history. <laughs> needs ethics when you're in the mindscape. <laughs> oh, can we talk to the shady guy again? <laughs> no. <laughs> oh, you found it! My precious thing! You gave Pessy's thing to Pessy. Thank you. I say thank you. I say again. In return for your selfless deed, I bestow upon you the ultimate gift. You got a sweetheart bust? <laughs> ah, isn't it beautiful? May fill you with joy for the rest of your days. Oh, <laughs> yes, yes. I'm sure that at any moment the event will begin. Oh god. <laughs> They're gonna be here forever. <laughs> oh, should we tell them? <laughs> <laughs> I don't think we have the option to. <laughs> no. Um... The bust looked like an equip. Yeah, it did. Let's take a look. Aw, oh, really? Um. Can she hit somebody with it? Oh my god, it uh. is. Oh no. A bust of Sweetheart. It's really heavy. Like, really, really heavy. <laughs> Oh, it lowers your hit and juice, but look at that attack! Look at our speed, though! Oh no! Yeah. Never mind! Yeah, look at the speed! The speed tanked so low I glossed over it completely. <laughs> um... Oh no, oh no, okay. Mm, well, maybe not right now. We already, we're already using a body pillow, for Christ's sake. <sighs> the body pillow's already really funny. Okay, think about it for a second. We just beat up Sweetheart with a Sweetheart body pillow. <laughs> <laughs> we hit her face with her own face. So have we healed since the boss fight? I'm stupid. I did. Okay. Um, God, all the dead sprout rolls. It's so sad. I do want to deliver this tofu really quick. Mm -hmm. Before we, we head back to the Deliver the world. book and stuff, too. Yeah. Uh, where was that person? Out here somewhere. It is it is very funny. It's really good. <laughs> uh nope. Nope, pot thing. Go away. Uh, not over here, because that's the spiders. Maybe more the beginning of the forest? I don't know, my brain's bad. Um... <laughs> it has been a week. So my brain's a little muddled because I got my shot. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the joke book. Uh, I feel like we're gonna need more jokes before we're able to do the, her thing, though. Actually, I'm curious. Can, can we... You yeah, just saved, so. <laughs> See what they think about this one. It's only ten clams. <sighs> okay, what is it? 
Do you want to read Weeping Willow a joke from the joke book? You open the joke book. The contents of this book are too embarrassing to read out loud. Maybe someone older would be able to do it. Really? You call me out here for nothing? <sighs> what a waste of time. <laughs> we have to make Hero do it? That's okay. Hero, I can't do this. Take this book. <laughs> Why couldn't the bicycle stand up by itself? It was too tired. <laughs> that joke. That joke was so bad. It just makes me want to... <laughs> oh no! Oh, we made it worse. Oh, oh no. <laughs> well, not that joke. <laughs> not that one. Let's see how we're out of the forest. Where in the heckity was... What? No, what? Uh... Oh my god, why are you so fast? Stop that. <laughs> Cease. in this area, but... Hmm. Well, let me take the... say about avoiding oranges. Uh... Oh god, airplane. Alright, now we gotta actually find the right sprite mole. Uh, sprout mole. Sprite mole? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> package for me? Care package. Hey, this is for my brother. Wow, there's 99 tofu in here. This is the best gift ever. <laughs> he knows me so well. Thanks for the delivery. You know, I was saving this for a rainy day, but now that I have my care package, I won't need it anymore. Life jam! Yeah, wait. <laughs> Could use to stock up on that again. Mm. <laughs> tofu is so good. Need it all at once, bud. Anything from these other sprout moles now that all of that has happened? I forgot. 
forgot he has first place in most horse. <laughs> most horse. very well could have been two sprout moles in a horse costume. <laughs> yeah, TVH. God, the two sprout moles in the horse costume was so good. <laughs> Anybody who seemed orangey. Something tells me they'll be in the area to begin with. <laughs> hmm. Since it's all optional, I can't think they'd be in like a non-optional area. I don't know. Oh, we still need to find the teddy bear. The jokes around here. Wasn't there a joke? Yes. I think there's a joke in every area. I just I can't remember where the jokes were. Oh wait. Yeah. I think there's one in the junkyard, too. Mm-hmm. Alright, let's go to the junkyard. Are those all the ones in, um, Otherworld? Actually, yeah, cute's in it. I'll, I'll actually ask you. Uh, yeah, I was gonna say, like, I'm just guessing. <laughs> just so we don't waste too much time getting all the jokes again. And I hope I hope Captain Space Husband's uh, crew is okay with Sweetheart being there. Yeah. It's it's just like yeah, where was it in the junkyard? Um... I at least feel like it was outside. Yeah. Area. 
<laughs> Kill. Okay, that's all that we can find right now. All right. Uh, it went the wrong way. I'm having trouble finding a way all the way up there. <laughs> it's wiggly. Hang on. Oh, here we go. I missed this. There we go. Oops. Did you hear about the restaurant on the moon? There's great food, but no atmosphere. Sitting on the top. Oh, uh, orange oasis at the bottom right. Okay, we have to get back out of here again. Ooh, they do make you backtrack. <laughs> I mean, that is if you want to do all the random stuff. <laughs> um, actually, we did want to go this way. <laughs> yeah, that little touch of just Omori kind of shifting away. <laughs> It's really cute. <laughs> but then he leans back and they just go back and forth. <laughs> just idiots. most of Orange Oasis already, right? I think so. 
or what we can currently. I know there's some places that we very much were like, well, there's something here, but we can't do it yet. Mm-hmm. I write this one. What do you call cheese that isn't yours? Nacho cheese. <laughs> yeah, the on fire man is over this way. Our good friend on fire boy. We still don't know what the password is. Say something. <gasps> she's married now. Well, she's married now. Again. <laughs> That's the announcer sprout mold, yep. huh? <laughs> Here was orange show. Yeah, and we really can't. I mean, we might be able to do the pyramid better now. I don't know. Let's try. Hmm. I don't know. We'll see. I feel like I don't want to delay too much on probably waking up again. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we can always dink around in the Oasis next time. that one guy. They were in the forest area, right? I thought they were. That's a bear. That's a bear. I, mean, I guess we're gonna have to come back here anyway once we're not afraid of drowning. Yeah. Which I'm going to assume is the next time we're in the uh, mindscape. Yeah, because that's the only other thing I can think of that we're still spooketed by. We're not up here. Ugh, I hate it. Probably closer to the beginning of this area. Mm. I don't know if it'd be faster to go back oh. to the. Oh no, oh, this, is right. the... this is the bear. Hmm. What if the bear is in the bear enclave? Oh no. I don't know why I right. called it an oh, enclave, here but. It is. What to read? What to read? Whoa! Where'd you come from? You gave an interesting book to Dummy. Wow! This book sure is interesting. Hmm. Mm hmm. Hmm. Mm hmm. Demi. Good. Oh, sorry. I must have zoned out for a moment there. Thank you for showing me this interesting book. I'll have to give you something in return. 
let's see here. How about this one? Here you go. This book is a collection of some of the saddest poems ever written. Please enjoy it. You got a deep poetry book. Oh, does that immediately put us into depressed? <laughs> oh. Hmm, now where was I? Mm-hmm. Hmm. Deep and meaningful. Hey, Peachy, I know where the bear is. Oh boy, is it in the bear <laughs> bear cage? No. Oh no. You know that bear that was like doc 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 so we were like hey buddy and he was like rar it's him <laughs> we didn't we we should have fought him <laughs> i mean it was right before sweetheart though i know well we didn't know yeah well we can do it now <laughs> <laughs> we're just like why is this fucking bear here oh <laughs> So we don't go a million years and not fight the correct bear. <laughs> God. This one. Hey, buddy. Your friend misses you. Still really hurt. Yep. You found a teddy bear. <laughs> That's one way of calling it. <laughs> It's up to you. I think it would be funny, but... <laughs> I mean, it would be funny, but... I think aggroing one bear should aggro every bear. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> I'm sorry, I gotta break out the ancient Warcraft me. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> you gotta. It's my job. That's my teddy bear! You gave the teddy bear to Candle Lee. No! Oh. I'm so happy to have you back, Teddy. Thank you for returning him to me. Here's a small gift for you. It's not much, but I hope you like it. A rubber duck. 
Come on, Teddy, what should we play first? Oh, I know, would you like a cup of tea? <laughs> oh my god. Candley and Teddy are having a tea party. I love their... I know they're... I know, but I love... Rubber duck. A cute rubber duck. Doesn't like you very much. Yeah. <laughs> Defense plus seven. Wow, this rubber duck hates us. What the heck? What did we do to piss off this duck? Singular block of tofu to split among the five of you. I know. <laughs> all right. So a present for Palmy. These these are all. Yeah, these two are orange. Uh, orange oasis, and then the we weeping willow. Mm. I mean, we could keep trying to tell jokes and see what happens. Maybe, we, I don't know if we need to find, like, the right joke or just have to tell her all the jokes, you know? Yeah. Her joke somehow doesn't make her sob inconsolably. <laughs> that one. Ah! Stop bullying Hero! Uh, oh, this one's spot. Not through the spider head. Or else we had the bulbs that we can cut open now. Oh yeah, um, there were at least three, I think. Mm -hmm. How about the moon joke? Subject to this poor person to all these terrible jokes. Making her have the worst day. <laughs> oh, Willow. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
Okay. I think it's time to wake up. We'll fight the bears another day. It's a long way down. Do you want to jump? Not ideally, but... You find a book of interest. Read an excerpt. One by one, they fell asleep on the car ride home. It was a long day at the beach, after all, and everyone was exhausted. Blank was the first to nod off, then the rest. As the sun set over the freeway, Blank's head accidentally drops onto Blank's shoulder. The sudden jolt awakes him, but he doesn't dare open his eyes. He pretends to be asleep and steadies his breathing. He listens to the sound of the road. He feels the soft sun resting on his skin and the slight tinge of pain on his nose from tomorrow's sunburn. He is happy, very, very happy. And he makes a vow to himself that no matter what, he will remember this moment forever. Mountains of books forgotten through time, the keepers of this library have long since passed. They did talk about the library under the castle. So that must be where this is. You find a book of interest. A puddle of juice sinks into the carpet. Hovering above it is none other than Blank holding an open juice box. He looks around at his friends, who are all wearing the same face of disappointment. He lets out a guilty chuckle. In what seems le like less than a second, Blank disappears out of the front door. A tiny black kitten makes her way through the stain, leaving sloppy wet tracks all across the carpet. No. Blank's face turns red and yells for Blank. But Blank is already long gone. Blank hands Blank some wet paper towels. It looks like they're the only adults here. And if they don't clean this up soon, the carpet is going to stain. They'll have to deal with Blank later. It was a hot summer day, and all Blank could think about was why they couldn't do this tomorrow. The backyard was a mess. Planks of wood were strewn about the area. Paint stains blotched the grass thanks to Blank and Blank's work. All day, Blank watched Blank lug planks of wood back and forth from his dad's pickup truck. He watched Blank hammer his fingers over and over, and made note that over an hour had pa has passed since Blank has climbed down her ladder. Hmm. I 
I will just be their moral support, Blank thought, as he sat sleepily in the shade of his favorite tree. Of course, he knew this wouldn't be the case. Soon his friends would be, a le be asking for his help, and he won't be able to refuse. The treehouse is for everyone, so it's only fair that everyone puts some work into it. Blank knows this and agrees, but reluctantly. He slides up and wobbles his way to the mess. He knows he should put in his fair share. It just had to be on the hottest day of summer. Oh. Oh. This year, Blank was lucky enough to get assigned to a desk next to the small window. Every day during class, Blank would gaze listlessly through the opening. At the shadows of the trees, the clouds creeping overhead, his mind drifted elsewhere, into his own worlds, his own stories, his own adventures. He had a habit of doing this. It was easy for him to get lost. Today was the same as any other. Blank stared vacantly out the small window as the clouds passed one by one. Suddenly, a hand playfully slaps his back, snapping him out of his reverie. Blank looks away from the opening. Blank smiles. He motions that class is over and that it's finally time for lunch. It's pizza day today, and they need to bolt to the cafeteria before it's all gone. Blank's stomach growls. He looks at the small window one last time. He would have to continue his adventure another day. It's sunset. A strange statue watches over the hidden lake. It might have meant something significant in the past, but the time has made its engravings illegible. Either way, it doesn't matter to the company visiting it today. They're only here to use it as a diving board. The brothers take turns jumping off the statue. Blank jumps first, then blank. I'm starting to figure out what these blanks might be. Yeah, I kind of realized. Yeah, Hero jumps in first, then Kel, then Hero again, then Kel again. The brothers gleefully urge... Sunny? To I join them. The, it seems like the single space is Sunny. And after some careful thought, Sunny warily agrees. Sunny shuffles up to the statue and looks down at the moving water. He can hear his heartbeat. His ears begin to ring. His legs feel as if they would give out in time. He tries to focus on his breathing. He feels something crawling on his shoulder and his eyes fly open to meet with those of a black spider. In an instant, Sonny loses all sense and hurls himself into the lake. Water fills his nose. He exerts his limbs, but the water is stronger. He's too weak, too helpless. Or that is what he believes. Sonny shuts his eyes and waits for the brothers to save him. I'd go right first because the glowy looks like the end. Oh. Okay. Six keys left. Oh, or that opens the path, whatever. Fuck me, I guess. <laughs> We 
were correct that it's black. Well, yeah. welcome to black space. Yeah, that's what I think it is. Don't like the sound of that. Everyone is over again today. The special occasion is Saturday morning. From 7 a.m. to 11 a.m., a group of six friends eat a delicious homemade breakfast and watch TV together. It's the most enjoyable part of every week. Sunny looks at the clock. 8 a.m. Two hours left. He will be able to watch with everyone else until 10 a.m. when his tutor arrives. Sunny grimaces. What he thought would be a rewarding hobby has been nothing more than a nuisance. Instead of watching the shows with the rest of his friends, he'll be the only one to miss out. If only he could watch the last hour with everyone else. If only he didn't have to play the violin. Oh. What? Something opened. Uh... This way? Oh no. Uh... Cutesy, I'm gonna ask. Which way should I go? Yeah, which one of these ends... The scenario. <laughs> or do both, and I only get to choose one. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> I feel like the key related ones. Usually is just brief. Yeah. Whereas Basil Shadow is more, you know. <laughs> the plot. But I shouldn't be surprised because they make anything flavored Oreos these days. <laughs> Strawberry sounds real good though. Yeah, pretty good. <laughs> had some, not recently, but the last time we bought random Oreos, they had Neapolitan Oreos and they were really good. Oh man. Because <laughs> they were like the gold cookie. So, I'll assume the door from the key is the other one, I'd okay. So should we just go the regular path with the piano? That or it's just hard to figure out which path is which because there's a lot of extra info to wade through. Mm -hmm.